Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. In this reading, we're going to do the hidden side of Paris Hilton. All right, so let's get into it. Let's uh, pull a card just on her overall, just to get the foundation for Paris. Okay. And then we will talk about her finances, family, love, and career. All right, let's get that card. Robot. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so we have robot, automated, artificial, precision mechanism. Okay. I think this suits her because in many ways she is like a robot, you know? She is, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think this suits her. Tell me in the comments if you agree. She is a robot. She does things robotically. She moves like a robot. It, it, you know, like she does things the same way, very robotic. Like you program a robot to do certain things. That would be like a Paris Hilton. You program her to, you know, pose a certain way, say a certain thing. She's robotic. Okay, let's get into the read. So the first thing that we're going to do is talk about her finances. So let's get a finance card and see where uh, Paris is in terms of dollars and cents. I get that she's in a, she's just fine. There's no problems there. You know, I mean, she'll get sued like any other famous celebrity, but uh, it w won't, I mean, getting it won't really put a dent in her finances. Okay, entrepreneur. And uh, this is a great card for Paris because it just really kind of, says this is a person who is and always has been an entrepreneur and that's how they make and continue to make their money. They're self-made. All right, let's just pull, uh, let's get a uh, tarot card on those finances. Let's pull two cards. She's worked hard and she has built her empire. You know, she's been out there. She's a young person still. Okay, so we have, now this is for finances. We have the Nine of Swords and we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, this is very fitting as it relates to finances, okay? Because Paris is somebody who, you know, doesn't really sleep well from what I gather from this card, this Nine of Swords. You know, she's in her head a lot. Well, you know, I'm getting older, this, that, and the other. I have this, I've got to do that. Um, I have children, I have, you know, she's in her head and it, it, it's all around, how can I keep my empire together? How can I make money? How can I do this and that? But she's the queen of wands. Okay. Queen of wands is energetic. They're lively. They're strong. You know, they consider themselves sexy and alluring and, um, and many people do. So you know, her finances, it's something that she'll always think about. She'll think about, well, when I get older, how do I get do this, that, and the other? I mean, it's always finances and her longevity in her career as an entrepreneur is always on her mind. But as far as dollars and cents, I get sitting pretty. It's like a duh moment, right? Well, duh, we all know that. So let's move on to family. Now, this will be her immediate family, mother, father, uh, siblings. I think I know she has a sister and I believe she has a brother. Okay. But she has other siblings that she's not aware of because her father has had other children. I get their mixed children. I, I picked that up very strongly, a black woman. Okay. But let's get into family. Um, let's pull a tarot card first and then we'll get some, um, oracles on, on her immediate family. Okay. All right. So we have the four of swords, fear, anxiety, stress. Okay. So that family life is stressful and I get it's because of money. You know, the family is a, is wealthy, but I'm going to pull some oracles, but they not as wealthy as you might think, but they're still comfortable. But I get that they are always eyeing Paris's money. Okay. We're going to get some oracles on, on her family. Let's take that one. That one. 
Oh, they want to fall. And we'll take the top one. But, you know, again, she's a robot. She does things that are tried and true for her brand. Okay, so the first card as it relates to family is rejection. And that's abandoned, dismissed, and irrational fear. And I get all of these for her because in many ways she does feel abandoned. You know, she went through some trauma and she feels that her parents um, didn't really protect her. They abandoned her when she needed them most. She went to some sort of, she was sneaking out of the house and doing things and her family said enough is enough. And they put her in some kind of, I don't know what it was. It was a get your act together kind of place. And, um, she, you know, had to go there and it was tough for her. And she felt that they abandoned her and that feeling is still there. It will, she'll never shake that. Okay. And then we have apology forgiveness, return, and sorrow. And I get that the family has apologized, and especially the mother, Paris's mother. I get that Paris, in some ways, may be milking it, but it doesn't take away from what she felt, uh, or which were the mistakes that her family made, because we have rejection, apology, and mistakes. She still feels that. Is there love in this immediate family with her siblings and all of that? Yes. But there's also great sorrow, great feeling of rejection, mistakes, needing an apology. It's like there's no apology in the world that will ever help her feel better about what happened to her. She's carrying that. It's like a torch that she won't put down. So that's really her immediate family. Now we're going to get into love next. And this is about her relationship with her husband and her children. So uh, let's pull some Oracle cards on her love. Oh, okay. That you see how they fell out. Okay. I'm going to take both of those and they definitely apply. And then I'm going to get a couple of these. Oh, just one. Okay. I get family has seeped in. Her immediate family, mother, father, siblings has seeped in and it, it uh, to this love part because it says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And that would be something that her mother, uh, Paris Hilton's mother would tell her. Release it. Her mother, uh, Paris's mother is... I get a very good mother. She was a very good mother and still is. She saw it. Um, okay, but let's get back to uh, love and her husband. Okay, it says pay attention to the red flags, but this marriage is beyond that because she didn't pay attention to the red flags uh, when she was dating this person, her now husband. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, it's a bad marriage, but she's not going anywhere, okay? and But we have, it's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I'm better. I will compete for you. Okay, now, I get that her husband, um, you know, he has a wandering eye and a wandering wand, if you know what I mean. So he's not faithful. Um, but... I get that it's really the best that she could get because of who her fame and all of that. It was like, I think her husband's name is Carter. He was the best thing, you know, the best that she was going to get, which is not good. So if the best you can get is bad, uh, that's sad. Let's pull some oracles on this relationship. But she's a robot, you know, don't forget. She's going to stick with, you know, that robotic, well, how's the relationship? How are you and Carter doing, you and your husband? We're good. Uh, that's how, you know, it's just robotic moves, robotic statements. It doesn't ever change. She'll always say that. She's never going to spill her dirty laundry. But there's conflict in that marriage. Conflict, clashing, differences, incompatibility. I mean, you know, the cards aren't lying. Pride. 
what I, what did I just say? She's too prideful to, you know, step away. That's that robot. I, I have pride. I've done this. I've gotten into this. I now have children and, um, finality farewells, leave behind enclosure, which is what she wants to do, but she's not going to do that because she was taught pride from her parents. And even though you may want, you know, even though you may know your husband is unfaithful and cheating, just like Paris's mother knows that her father, you know, she likely, uh, Paris's mother likely knows that the father has had other children outside of the, their marriage outside of Paris's, you know, the mother, Paris's mother and father, right? Her mother, Paris's mother knows that uh, her husband is who he is, but she's old school. All right. The mother's old school. Hence, so is the daughter. Okay. So love is what it is. There's fights, there's arguments, there's tantrums and the children see it. Her children see it. Let's pull a card on Paris and her children just to close out uh, family and love. They're kind of co-mingling, but these kids are going to feel everything. It, they're not going to be happy children. Okay. So we have the seven of cups or eight of cups abandonment. Yeah. Walking away. These kids are going to feel that way you know, uh, she'll be the best that she can be in terms of parenting. Let's move on to career because we already pulled the, um, the entrepreneur card, entrepreneur, <laughs> it's <a> t entrepreneur. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not saying it right. She's an entrepreneur. Okay. So let's see what, um, what else the cards want to tell us about career for Paris. Okay, take that one. We'll get a few oracles as well for, for it. Okay, what do we have here? Payday. Every day is a payday for her because, like I say, she will, this is somebody who will reinvent themselves. This is somebody who will be out there looking good at 70, making it work, making sure that people are paying attention to her. That's just who she is. Okay. And, uh, it's foremost on her mind. She'll still be a robot though. That's, that might've fallen, but she's still going to be that robot. Okay. So yeah, she's, she's going to be, uh, somebody that always has paydays. Let's pull a couple of uh, oracles and then we'll close the readout. I'm going to keep that one and we'll get a couple of these. Okay. So we have library. We have desert and we have temple. I get that, um, you know, as far as a library, it's something that it's like books and things will be, you'll be able to always know who she is or was, even after she passes on, there will be books about her. She's an icon. She is somebody that will be in the consciousness of people for a very long time, long after she has died, because there's more things that she has to do and that she's going to do that will continue to put her on the map. Now, desert is arid landscapes, dunes. This is, you know, she feels like she's out in the desert. Like there's, you know, she's not a happy person. She's not a happy person. She feels like she's out in a desert. A desert is somewhere nobody wants to be for any long period of time. It's desolate. It's just like who goes to the desert? You don't hear anybody saying, I'm going on vacation to the desert. No, but she feels like she's on a desert all the time that people don't understand her, but she has no temple. She doesn't have a religion or a belief system. I get her belief system is making money, being an entrepreneur. Her belief system is 
keeping up with the Joneses. Her belief system is looking good and taking care of herself. Outside of that, that is those things are her, part of her religion. So she doesn't have any foundation, uh, no religious foundation to speak of. Even if her family may have gone to church and just went through the motions, I, I get that would be all. They've just went through the motions. So there's not much else to say. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. As always, you take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.